guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jolene Marie, and today I'm gonna to be washing my hair. Um, and on my wash day, I always like to do a pre poo. Typically, the pre poo that I that I do do is a hot oil treatment. Um, I love to do the hot oil treatment, but today I was like, I want to try. I want to do the aloe vera treatment. I used to do aloe vera treatments. Um, I'm not consistent with them all the time, but I have done them in the past and I really love the way it makes my hair feel and just the level of moisture that it gives my hair. So I was like, let me just go on ahead and do an aloe vera treatment today. When I do an aloe vera treatment or a pre poo I really feel like it, or even any pre poo honestly, I feel like the pre poo is very essential when it comes to your hair, especially on wash day, because not only does it condition your hair, but it also adds a level of moisture to kind of help protect your hair from the next part, which would be the actual shampooing part, which will eventually strip some moisture away. But I just kind of feel like when you do a pre-poo, it kind of gives it that extra protection of moisture. So I feel like pre-poos, um, especially hot oil treatments, um, are really good uh, and essential in maintaining the health of your hair as well as contributing to the growth of your hair. So if you guys are trying to figure out a good pre-poo, I uh, definitely would recommend um, the aloe vera treatment, which is what I'm gonna do today, as well as the hot oil treatment. So in this um, pre-poo that I'm gonna be doing, we're gonna be focusing mainly on the aloe vera, but I will be putting in a little bit of my oil that I usually do my hot oil cheap or my pre poos with. This is it right here. We'll save this for another video, so I won't talk about it too much now, but I will be putting some of this oil in, but this won't be the focus of this video. The aloe vera will be, um, because again, I feel like the aloe vera is really great. Um, it really, you know, adds moisture to your hair, and I feel like it also you know, serves as a really good uh, protective barrier uh, when it comes to shampooing your hair as well. And I just love the sliminess of it, especially going against my 4C hair. My 4C hair is very dry. If you have 4C hair, I recommend. I feel like doing a pre poo is essential to the health of your hair and the growth of your hair. So definitely always do a pre poo if you have 4C hair. But I mean, hey, each of its own. If you don't like pre poo, that's fine, but I highly recommend it. So, um, I won't do a whole lot of talking, but I will go over the rest of the items that you'll need for this uh, pre poo. Um, so, we already talked about the oil, the aloe vera, and then also, you don't really need too many items for this. If you like to work in sections with your hair, then you can definitely go on ahead and get a few clips as well. Please don't mind my nails, they're horrible. And then also you're gonna need a bag. So once you finish, you know, applying the aloe vera to your hair, then you can either let it sit in there for like 30 minutes or you can apply some heat for 15 minutes and then wash it out. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start uh, prepping my hair to apply the aloe vera. I mean, as I mentioned before, you can work in sections if that's what you're mostly comfortable with. So what I'm gonna try to do is section off my hair. It's not gonna be in any particular kind of section. Um, I just wanna kind of break it up so that way it'll be a little bit easy to move through my hair. Um, in fact, I think what I'll do actually is just kind of break off the sections as I go. So once I finish applying the aloe vera to my hair, then I will put a clip on it and just kind of leave it so that's how I know it's been already done. So let's get started with this section and we'll leave the back of it alone until we get to that part. So let's go with this section here. So. Let's start off with this aloe vera. So here it is. The aloe vera actually, here's the aloe vera. I've already cut it up for you guys, as you've seen in the previous video. So um, as you can see, the aloe vera is, you know, still kind of, you know, slimy or whatnot. It's been sitting in the mold for a little bit long. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of poke it just to kind of see the slime <laughs> come out because that's the part that you want to put in your hair. This is the gel. So 
but I know you can see that, but yeah, this is it. This is the favorite part. So I'm just gonna take this whole thing and just kind of put it in my hair like this. <laughs> so, that's basically what you're doing here. And you wanna get it on your scalp as well. Stick your fingers in it like this, and you'll see more of the gel come out. We don't want to leave no gel left behind. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going to complete this process throughout my hair and then I'm going to hop back on and put the oil on that I showed you at the beginning of the video. you guys so I have completed the process of applying the aloe vera throughout my hair so now I'm getting ready to start applying the oil uh, make sure that I was telling you guys earlier about but before I do that actually I'm, I'm gonna put in some more aloe vera juice around my hair just to kind of keep it moist because it did take a while to you know kind of go through my whole head and put this in so now I'm gonna apply the oil and then we will uh, almost be done with the video so basically what I'm gonna do with the oil I like to definitely put it all over my scalp and then I like to give it a good massage just to kind of really just massage it in there and then I'll break my hair up into little chunks and um, kind of you know apply the oil from root to ends 
um, just so that way it can just really saturate into the, each strand of my hair and keep it well uh, moisturized. So I'm basically going to repeat this process throughout my entire head, just like I did for the aloe vera treatment. Only thing is, it's going to definitely take less the time because this is going to be just a quick and easy, you know, applying the oil throughout my hair. So it's not going to take that much time at all. And then once I'm done with that process, then I will let it sit in my hair for about maybe um, 30 minutes. You can let it sit in your hair for like 30 minutes or you can use a hooded dryer or a little bonnet dryer and let it sit in for under heat for about 15 minutes. Um, and then once it's done, you'll be able to wash it out. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more like it. And until the next video, I hope you guys are blessed.